workshop. I'm Shannon, I'm from ETH Global. Um, and here I am joined uh, by the wonderful Kirill from One Inch. Um, so Kirill, I'll let you take it away. And uh, for any questions, please put them in the chat or wait until the end. Okay, I will answer questions in the chat. Uh, feel uh, free to just uh, start with the presentation. Uh, could you repeat? Oh, Carol, Sorry? you can uh, you can begin, Carol, when you're ready. Ah, okay. Yes, I'm yep, ready. Exactly. Uh, so, uh, first of all, I want to give you a quick introduction to One Inch uh, Network. This is uh, the big ecosystem of uh, different DeFi products. By initially, um, the first product of One Inch Network uh, was a One Inch aggregation protocol. It was built on uh, Ethereum New York Hackathon in 2019. And um, uh, this protocol incorporates a Pathfinder algorithm that uh, searches deals across uh, different markets uh, uh, on Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon Network, and also Optimism. You can uh, find the best price, this price, will be better on a big amounts uh, in terms of gas and return amount uh, uh, than any individual exchange. And uh, few, uh, and also uh, we released uh, our own limit order protocol uh, that allows to place uh, the order like on centralized exchange uh, uh, and uh, you will pay nothing for this order. order. You just need to um, enter your preferable um, price and uh, uh, sign the transaction. And this transaction will send to the uh, backend site or mesh network. And then uh, any user of one inch or any arbitrage bot can um, use this orders um, to as a taker. So if I am maker, I can uh, place the limit order, sign it. Uh, I will not uh, send this order to the chain, but I send it to the backend. And uh, then uh, our Pathfinder algorithm will uh, take into account this order uh, in the wall path if it's profitable for the taker and uh, anyone can um, fill this order. So if you are maker, you will not pay the gas fees. And you, if you are taker, then you will pay for the submitting transaction to the network. So let's look at the limit order protocol. Um, this protocol, I think, is the uh, best solution, uh, not only in terms of uh, uh, gas usage. So this protocol um, charge about uh, one uh, one hundred k or maybe one hundred fifty k for the order filling, and also one inch limit protocol has a free interesting feature that I haven't seen before. Uh, the first one it's a conditional execution. Uh, during the order filling process, you can uh, check uh, uh, is your order valid or invalid. Uh, moreover, you can set any condition that you want. Uh, you can set expiration time, uh, uh, chain links, oracle price checking, uh, or, or maybe some white list uh, of the takers. Also, you can use one inch limit order protocol, not only with the ERC20 tokens, but also with the NFTs and uh, other tokens. Uh, so the conditional execution, it's really a flexible feature that allows to uh, validate some uh, details on chain uh, during the execution. The second interesting feature, it's arbitrary price discovery. Uh, you can use any formula for exchange. Uh, uh, you can build your own custom uh, curve or maybe um, uh, integrate some other uh, DEX uh, formula. Or maybe you want to 
uh, get your price from the chaining oracle or any other price source uh, so you can build uh, any formula that you want uh, for this limit order uh, this formula can include some fees that you want to charge during the execution and other stuff that you can imagine uh, so and the last interesting thing and uh, this is the custom callback during the execution you can uh, call any other function uh, something like callback before funds uh, uh, will charge from your account uh, so, for example, you can um, uh, get the flash loan and um, pay uh, uh, to the taker uh, using your maker token. And after that, uh, you can return uh, this flash loan. So you can add any logic, maybe with the uh, uh, debt uh, borrowing and uh, uh, collateral uh, like uh, CDI, CUSDC on compound, if you can use lending protocols in this callback, so you can add any functionality that you want uh, to be executed before the uh, debiting funds from your account. And let's look uh, deeper uh, on how it works. Uh, so uh, the order uh, has the following structure. Um, the first uh, property is uh, salt. This is the random generated uh, number that uh, protects uh, against um, double spending. Uh, the second two properties, it's a maker asset and taker asset. This is the address of the tokens that you want to receive and uh, pay. Uh, so maker asset, this is uh, your asset that you have and take your asset uh, this is the uh, coin that you want uh, to to receive after the order filling uh, the next two uh, properties this is the maker asset data and take your asset data um, this is the abi encoded uh, transfer from function that contains uh, signer address uh, amounts and uh, also, uh, if you want to make this uh, order private, you can specify um, a receiver address uh, to the maker asset data, data. And if you want to make uh, this order public, uh, you can place uh, on the, um, uh, to the destination address, uh, the zero address. Uh, so, the next two properties, this is the get maker amount and get taker amount. Uh, this function allows to uh, call any uh, function that will uh, calculate uh, your uh, maker or taker amount. This is the arbitrary price discovery feature. And um, this is also the ABI encoded uh, bytes uh, that um, uh, should include uh, uh, swap taker amount and swap maker amount as a, a last argument. And as a result of this function, we will get, uh, in case of get maker amount, the swap maker amount, and for the get taker amount, swap taker amount. The next property, it's a predicate. Uh, this is ABI encoded function that should return a Boolean. Uh, and this is your condition or maybe a combination of uh, different conditions like uh, using uh, or and and maybe not not um, uh, not and other uh, built-in functions that allows that allow to combine to combine different conditions so the permit this is call, bait, uh, call data bytes for uh, tokens that, that supports per permit you can uh, play uh, you can place the order without an, an approval from your site without making the transaction that will allow to spend your token uh, from one inch limit order protocol 
and the last bytes uh, it's the interaction uh, this is also your ABI encoded uh, callback function on your strategy contract uh, if you pass uh, more than zero bytes here then the callback will be executed and uh, uh, will perform some action before the transfer from uh, uh, funds from your account. So uh, to fill the order, you need to call a fill order function. The first parameter, this is the described before order uh, structure. Uh, the second parameter, it's a signature. So we are using uh, sign type data version 4 signature. Uh, and uh, you should assign the order uh, using this um, uh, EIP 712 um, standard um, uh, using your wallet that, ha that has uh, enough funds and approval uh, to one inch uh, limit order protocol. Um, and the second two parameters, this is the making amount and taking amount. Uh, in case uh, if you want to fill, um, uh, if, if you know how much you want to uh, spend uh, on this order, uh, then you need to place taking amount. And if you want to, uh, specify uh, what, what amount you want to receive, uh, then you need to set a, a making amount. And one of those uh, parameters should be zero. And the last parameter, this is something like minimal return. This is also acceptable for the uh, function with the uh, arbitrary price discovery to protect yourself uh, from uh, price slippage. Let's look at the predicate. This is the condition that will be checked on chain and you can combine any conditions that you can imagine. And for example, uh, on the one inch uh, user interface, uh, we use the combination of two conditions. Uh, this is the nonce equals and uh, timestamp below. Uh, the first one uh, allows to check uh, the uh, nonce of the maker address uh, uh, to be sure that the uh, maker um, didn't cancel the order. Uh, and the second timestamp below, this is the check, check of the expiration time. And we can, uh, we can combine those two functions using uh, and predicate. So we need to uh, encode um, these two functions and pass it to the bytes array as a data and uh, also you need to specify targets uh, addresses uh, where uh, these two functions is placed um, uh, these functions uh, uh, is on are on uh, our one inch limit order protocol contract and uh, if you want to build your custom functions, uh, you can also execute it, but I will say how to do that uh, in the next slides. Um, what about uh, arbitrary price discovery? Uh, um, we have uh, these two functions, get maker amount and get taker amount. These two functions uh, are using um, uh, basic proportion, proportion and uh, <clears throat> you can calculate um, uh, maker or taker amount using uh, these formulas and uh, the ABI encoded um, version of this function should be placed in the order structure. Uh, so and also uh, how we call uh, these functions in the limit order protocol. Uh, we are using unchecked function static call that should uh, call inside this contract. And we attach the, for example, taker amount uh, in the end uh, of the this call data uh, to execute uh, the 
a uh, real take care amount that uh, take care uh, has passed. And also uh, how to use predicate and get maker amount and get taker amount with uh, your contract. Uh, you need to encode uh, uh, these functions inside the arbitrary static call function because it exists uh, on the limit order protocol contract <clears throat> and you need to uh, execute uh, all outside actions using uh, this function. This is the security uh, proof, something like this. Um, yeah, you can just encode your function, place it to the data parameter, and uh, as a target, you can specify your smart contract address. And this functions will be performed uh, on your contracts. Um, for uh, If uh, the maker address is the smart contract address, then uh, you don't need uh, to sign orders uh, using the default signature. Uh, if the signature is invalid, for example, uh, as a taker, you can uh, pass uh, some random structure or maybe just random bytes to the signature field. And uh, uh, if your signature will not valid, then we will try to uh, call is valid signature on on the maker address uh, so this is this thing allows us to use uh, smart contracts as a order maker and uh, we need to validate them um, uh, some data inside uh, uh, this function on your smart contract for example here we just validating the uh, order um structure and also uh, checking the price drop uh, for the order and uh, if uh, all all is all is good then we just return the selector of the is valid signature the, that means that your contract uh, uh, has validated uh, uh, the signature signature this is just the name of the parameter uh, it can be order or any other data that you need to validate uh, during the uh, order execution. Uh, so, and the last thing, this is the interaction. Uh, as I said before, if this uh, property in the uh, order structure more than zero bytes, uh, then we will uh, call uh, notify fill order function on your contract. So you need to implement this function on your contract. And uh, this function accepts uh, maker asset, taker asset, making and taker, taking amount, and uh, the call bytes that you uh, pass to the order structure. Uh, thank you. Using these QR codes, you can find uh, uh, limit order protocol smart contracts, uh, some JavaScript to tools to iterate uh, interact with the uh, limit order protocol and build custom predicates. Uh, and uh, also we have documentation for those fields. You can find it, just visit uh, docs.oneinch.io limit order protocol utils and here you can find all uh, needed information how to validate limit order how to fill it how to cancel how to build predicates and uh, all other needed information thank you i'm happy to answer your questions thanks for the presentation carol does anyone in the chat have uh, have questions? And if not, everyone can feel free to drop your questions if you have them later in the uh, sponsor dash one inch uh, channel. Um, there, you know, there's going to be uh, some folks from one inch that are going to be really happy to answer your questions. 
And thanks everyone for coming. And thanks, Kiro, for the amazing presentation. Thank you.